Hi guys, today what we're going to do is we're going to plan our uh, tile design um, and the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to plan our design on this piece of paper. Um, it is online, you can either print it on your own computer, if you don't have a computer to print you can make a 7x7 seven seven square on a plain piece of paper and plan your design, okay? I've already planned my design. After you plan your design, you're going to take scissors and you're going to cut out around the square. At that point, you are then going to place the design onto your um, square of clay. Um, if you are remote, I'm going to provide you with the square. Um, obviously, if you're in person, then you will um, roll out your square and have that ready to go when you come in. Um, so once you have your design, okay, you have your design right here, you're going to place it on to your square. You're going to use the needle tool. Um, if you are completely remote, you have a tool that looks like a skewer that has a pointed end. Now, anything on this design that has a fairly big lettering, okay, um, I want you to use the needle tool, okay? Um, if you see my smaller lettering, um, I want you to use a pen or anything that's really tiny. Um, it gets a little confusing um, if you use the needle tool um, for really small things, okay? So you can go back and forth with um, the actual um, carving, like you're transferring like a pumpkin, or you can do the pen. And the pen will transfer with just the pressure, okay? Once you've done that, your square is going to look something like that. So where I've used pen, it's just an indent, and where I've made the needle tool, it looks like a variety of dots. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the dots and I'm going to make the outline of where I use the pen just a little bit darker. So you can use your needle tool, the skewer, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, trace around that letter. Now one thing to keep in mind is that the type of tile we are making is more of a subtractive. So we're gonna be carving away to make letters stand up. Um, so it's really more of a subtractive than an additive um, type of design here. Now, for example, if you are making, say you're making an animal um, and you find that you have by accident uh, removed uh, one of the animal's legs or you're making an M and your, your M is just a little bit too um, uh, narrow, you, you can add a little bit of clay to it. Um, but what we're not doing today is we're not taking this piece of clay and then adding trees and different things on it. We're using what we have here. That is an actual another type of tile uh, making, um, which is more about additive, which we may do down the road, but not um, for this typical uh, design. I want you to learn how to actually carve and remove uh, clay to make something more three-dimensional. So as I go around here, um, and you can also, if you have a little paintbrush, you can use the paintbrush just to kind of brush out. Um, try to keep this on your, your table um, so you don't make a giant mess at your at your parents' house. Um, so like I said, as you're tracing around, just kind of connecting, I'm not going all the way through to the bottom because you don't need to have a thick um, connection here. You just want it on the surface so you can kind of see what your design's gonna be. Um, sometimes when your designs get really detailed, um, it's harder to carve them. Um, and you may find that as you go along, you might want to simplify um, some different things. But for right now, I'm going to do that. I'm going to connect my dots on my field hockey stick. Um, and print. So the very first thing you're going to need to start thinking about is what part of this tile um, do I want to have raised? Um, so it looks like it's standing above um, on top of the piece of clay. So I'm going to probably most likely um, lower everything around the background down 
a little bit. And I'm going to say roughly about a quarter of an inch. We're going to remove that down. You don't want to go too far um, because you it start if the, if the tile starts to get extremely thin, um, they and there's too much pressure on the clay, then it has a very likely chance of snapping in two. Um, and you don't want that to happen. So now I just kind of went out of my line a little bit, but that's okay because you know what? You can just smooth it back in. And then you can just take your tool and do exactly what you really want it to do. There. Okay. And I'm just going to go in here. All right. So now I have my tiger, my tiger, and my field hockey sticks outline. Um, and now I'm just going to, um, but now in this part, I'm going to just use a pencil that's a little bit duller. Um, just because um, the needle tool is really sharp. It's a newer one, so it's really sharp. So I'm just going to go around. Um, I have a paw outline that's going to be in the background. So there we go with that. A little bit more. Um, So you can do any kind of design you want. Um, if you were doing the state of Maine, you might want to do, um, you know, a landscape. Um, a lot of people in the past have done lighthouses. Um, I have had, had everything from, I had a student who really liked uh, pier fries from Old Orchard Beach. So she made a, a box of French fries, which was a tile, which was actually really quite cool. Um, Somebody was a big fan of L.L. Bean. We've had L.L. Bean. We've had um, just all kinds of different things. So, and then the other things, you know, um, you know, if you're into something at the high school that you're really proud of and, and you want um, something to remember it by, um, you could always do, if you're on, you know, your sports that you're on, clubs that you're in, um, uh, band, music, chorus, you know, anything that you're interested in, art, um, you can make something connected to that. Um, so now I'm just using the pencil to kind of carve around the letters, which are a little bit thinner than um, the Tiger Pride. So do that. So once I have this all traced, I'm going to start um, carving away. And what I will do is start removing around the letters. Now, since I have the paw behind this letter right here, I'm going to need to think about how much I'm going to remove around the letters and then also around the little paw. So that will be something I'll have to take into consideration here. The T is almost off the paper here. Um, and now I just have the pride to do. So now we're going to get started with our carving. So And the reason why I'm doing this is more so that the remote students have a better idea of what it is that we're doing. Um, kind of hard not being able to see them um, at all. And really helps when you're coming in at least one or two days. So, um, so since I don't get to see them, I thought it was important. Okay, here we go. So I now have everything outlined. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start carving away. Now, obviously, if you are in school, I have a, a few more options of tools. But if you are completely remote, um, I'm also going to be attaching a video on how to make some at-home tools. 
Um, so I will show you how to do that as well. But first, we're going to use the tools that I have here today. So the first one that I usually start with um, is this tool right here. And this is the type that you're going to be able to make one that has a little loop like that. Um, and it helps to, to carve away. So like I said, I don't, I don't want to carve a ton away, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly start taking away around the letters. And right now, my brush So I'm just going to start carving away. And around. You can also, um, if you get, start getting closer and you want to see kind of where the letter is again a little bit more, you can take your needle tool and kind of just reinforce around it again. So this is this is a project that takes a little while. So um, don't feel like you have to rush, rush, rush um, to get through it because it is takes it does take some time just to carve away um, and to get it to the right height. So there we go. Now I'm now at a point where I can maybe um, utilize a little bit larger tool with a a little bit wider end here. So now I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to pull back. And you can level it out too at another point in time. Now do you see how the pieces are coming up like little pieces of chocolate? So I'm going to continue to do that as I smooth away. I'm going to stop the video right now and I'm going to show you what I have done so far. It's just not a lot, but you can see how I've started to take out around the letter. All right. I'm going to stop at this point um, and then I'm going to go pack back with part two. So I'll see you soon.